Fluent makes organizing all your emails a breeze by automatically creating filters to sort all your important emails. However, there are times that call for the customization of these filters. Either because Folio is missing some emails due to variations in spelling or how the property is being referenced inside your emails, or you're working with unique properties like vacant lots or new construction. Let's learn how to expand and edit those filters to make them work for you. To expand and customize the filters, from inside your Gmail, click on the settings cog, and from there, click on the settings menu item, and then head over to the filters and blocked address tab. Once you scroll down, you'll be able to find your relevant filter. You'll also be able to see the current filter settings for that smart folder. When you click on edit, you can go in here and customize those items. As you can see in this example, Fully is utilizing 123 main street or 123 main ST to filter and organize our emails. If you find that you're missing emails, it's likely because the property address is being referenced in different ways. Perhaps you're working with a property that has a unit number, and some emails include that unit numbers, others don't. Or you're working on a new construction or vacant lot, and the way that the emails reference the property address is inconsistent. For these situations, it'll be a good idea to expand our filters. We can do this by making the filters a bit more comprehensive by including a new OR statement, simply ask for Folio to look for a 123 main street, just the street number and name, or by adding variations of the property address that are most likely to be referenced inside your emails. Once you're done adding new filters, simply click on continue. From there, you'll have the option to select and apply these new filters to existing conversations. Click on update filters, and from there, all the relevant emails will be filtered and sorted inside your Folio Smart Folder.